Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Developer Evangelist. Uh, so this is our fifth video tutorial where we are learning how to build a PhoneGap application uh, connected to salesforce.com. Uh, in the previous episode, we successfully managed to log in and authenticate our user to Salesforce. In this episode, we'll learn how to make a query and load the opportunities from Salesforce and list them uh, in, in our application. All right, so let's get started quickly. So if you go back to your editor, where we had our main view uh, uh, defined. And as you can uh, remember, we had the success and error handler here that was handling either uh, successful or um, uh, failure of the, of the login process. So instead of popping up a message or alert box here, what we can do, we can, uh, let's say, access a function that will create here that will make uh, all the queries uh, to Salesforce. So let's create like a query opportunity function here. And of course we can define it on the level of our view. So like this. Now I have a snippet also that will actually do the magic and let's go through it. So first of all, um, we create or we define a collection type and that collection is uh, using a backbone force. It's a plugin for uh, salesforce.com uh, integration. And actually that reminds me that we have to define now in our module dependency to it. So if we go here, let's define it and I have it uh, alias for the backbone force. So it's defined like this in the main JS. And let's just uh, give it a force like this uh, reference. So if you want to learn more about actually Backbone Force, go ahead, look for it on GitHub, it's open source, and there is documentation. What else you can do with it? Because right now, what we're doing, we're just defining with that collection a query that will point, well, that will return us an ID, name, expected revenue, some of the properties that come with um, opportunity in Salesforce. Also, it has a subselect that will uh, return all the durations and uh, for uh, for the events that are linked with that opportunity. And also we're doing a sort of, sort of a conditional here, uh, a statement where we just want to, oh, want to return only the open opportunities. So once we define the collection, what we can do, we can make an instance of that collection and we assign it to the opportunities property on the view level because we will need to access it also from other uh, functions functions and then we call fetch. So fetch is exactly the same as a collection in Backbone. So it follows exactly the same strategy. So you can uh, define a success um, property uh, where you have a function defined that will, well, in this case, we'll call another function that will build our uh, list uh, items and add those to the DOM. So let's, uh, let's create that function then. And there we go. And if we use again uh, our snippets magic, we can load ops list here. So let's quickly look what happens here. So I create a li uh, items array where I will put all the created elements um, or DOM elements and with the list item elements that are created. Then I iterate through the opportunities collection. And with each uh, item, I get an opportunity object that um, uh, I create an opportunity item render, render for it, where I pass this opportunity object as a model to that renderer. I render the, the render and I uh, get its uh, rendered elm, uh, DOM element, which will be list item. And all that is pushed to the uh, items uh, array where uh, after this loop, I actually specify, so I use the jQuery that is, uh, that comes with, the, uh, with my backbone view, uh, so it can uh, only query and filter all the sub elements of my main view. And in this case, it's a list of opportunities, uh, an unordered list, which we'll go and name it like this or give it identifier. Then we fill in it with all the items uh, with from that array that we created. And then we use a jQuery mobile uh, plugin to list uh, to refresh the list view. So in this case, we have to do it because we dynamically build the list. And after the list is built, we just need to run it so it, jQuery mobile will apply the nice styling um, to it. 
Uh, all right, so let's uh, first of all, uh, well, let's define a reference to the opportunity item render in our uh, in our view. So we can put it in the same uh, subfolder as our main view, and let's put that also here. So we have to create that. Um, uh, item renderer, of course, but before we do that, let's go quickly to main template and let's make sure that our template here uh, has an ID of list opportunities. All right, because we will need to access it with all the list item create items created. Now let's create new JavaScript file, and it will be opportunity item renderer. And if we use some of the snippets magic here, uh, let's create this item render um, body. And what happens here? So first of all, as you can see, again, this is a required JS module that defines a single view. And what happens here, we have uh, a new item renderer type created, which uh, by default, uh, we redefine the default uh, from div to list item. So Backbone, when you create new uh, view, it creates a div element linked with it. And we can redefine it so the tag name will be list item instead. Then in initialize function, and it's like a constructor, we will actually link the created list item element with the model object that we pass. So in the next episode, we'll be able to, when we tap, the user taps the list uh, uh, item on the list, it will will get a, a, a an event, a click event, and from that, from the event and its target, we'll be able to read that model object and push it to the next view that will uh, display us some details of the opportunity. All right, but that's next episode. So if I look in quickly into what happens in render, so in render, I use again the uh, L, I fill in the element that is linked with this view uh, and its content with um, with DOM that is actually created using a template engine that comes with underscore. And that template engine uh, requires two properties to be passed to it. Uh, so first one is a string, uh, where a specially formatted string that I'll show you in just a second. And also a second parameter is um, a JSON object where we can use to actually inject values into the template. All right, and that JSON object is created based on our uh, model. Um, object uh, linked with this opportunity or with this item render so quickly let's create new file but we let's before we do that let's copy here file new there we go and let's try to create that template so what happens here so first of all uh, the list item element dom element and if you want to have it to be like clickable uh, list item with jQuery, it has to have a link or a anchor defined uh, as a first element. And then we put a placeholder will, which will actually point to a name property of our JSON object passed into a template. So it will the templating engine will inject, inject a name property in this place. And the same thing applies here. So we can create this paragraph with a class ULLI aside, which puts that the, its content in the upper right corner of each list item element or this uh, this item renderer, and uh, as its content, it uses a close date uh, property of our JSON object. Okay, so th this is this is uh, I guess all that what we needed to do, uh, and now let's try to actually run it. Uh, so if I already open it in Safari and try to refresh. Well, and maybe empty the caches so it doesn't use the previous uh, version from the previous episode. And maybe check what didn't go right. Oh, one last thing, forgot to, very important one. Uh, basically, and I think it's a good place here, we need to initialize our uh, Backbone Force plugin. So here we can directly pass Force TK client that is passed as a parameter to this uh, success handler. So now if I refresh that, you will see the list of all the items uh, returned from, uh, from Salesforce and from my account. 
All right, um, so stay tuned for the next episode where we'll learn how to actually click on the item, navigate with a nice transition to the details of selected opportunity. Thank you very much and bye.